what I'm going to do today is give you a bit of an update on where I'm up to my seedlings. Some of the seedlings I first planted right at the end of February, first week of March. Some of them are now ready to be transplanted into pots from the seeding trays. I'll give you a quick update on the squash, the cabbage, the turnips. Some of them have actually turned out very good. Some of them haven't turned out as good as I'd hoped. And some hints and tips on how to transport from the seeding trays to your pots. Best ways that I think you should do it to give you plants the best possible start, how not to damage the plants. And uh, I'll take it from there and you also get to see an update of where I'm up to my plot. I will try and always have a video blog of any significant things that I do, A, so you can keep up to date with where I'm up to, B, so it gives you an idea, time scales of what plants are going to look like when you're doing them as well. What I found is when I first started doing and planting some of the fruit and the vegetables, I didn't know where I should be up to, at what time and how long things should be taking to A, actually come up from seed. I'll be looking at my seed and trace thinking, is it actually coming up? Is anything coming up? The second thing is just have a look at what leaves look like. You know, you get your first two set of leaves on any of the seedlings, and then they change over to, to the, uh, the other type of leaves. So hopefully it'll be interesting, and you'll uh, learn something. Okay, so I'll quickly update you. I did some planting on one of the episodes on the 27th of February. Basically, I call it the beginning of spring. This is my cabbage. As you can see, they started off really, really lively. Um, now they've uh, I had, a, I had a whole row there, another row there. They're not growing as uh, as fast as I thought. Uh, and then, if you look at my my turnips as well, done them at the same side. You can see the, the original two leaves have come through, and then the uh, the second leaf. Uh, well, when I say second, the third leaf is now slowly starting to uh, to make. To make shape as well, so I'm uh, I'm pretty pleased about that. You've got the uh, uh, the first leaf, and then uh, and that's the uh, the turning. So they're not doing too bad today. They've been out in the wind and they've had a bit of a battery. Uh, this is the squash. I did this very very same time. The squash seems to be uh, doing very 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 well. Nice healthy looking leaves there. Um, absolutely brilliant. So I'm quite happy with them. Uh, the tomatoes that I did just the other day as you can see the tomatoes are uh, doing really really well they've all germinated I only planted them a week ago absolutely fantastic they germinated really really well and then uh, same again with the onions they're the onions that I did again right at the end of the day saw them on the video and the onions are really happy about that um, with the onions when I first planted them the onions came out and um, they came out almost like two stalks and at first I thought they were bent but what I've realised is they come out with the two stalks and then they separate so uh, that, that was a learning curve for me so that's what they look like when they're really really young and again that's the onions that I planted okay so first things first I'm going to fill up our uh Slightly moist soil. Keep it a little uh, tap down, keep it nice and moist. Gently and only holding the, the leaves. Not to uh, not to damage the stem, okay. Holding the leaves to transplant it out, okay. That's going to be what we need to do. So what we want to do is gently, gently, just really, really gently, just from the bottom, just coax it out. Holding the leaf there. There we go. Nice. There we go. We've got all of that. All I'm going to do is put that gently there. So here. <laughs> Move my little dibber there. Put 
place the whole thing in there gently. There we go. Just gently sliding it in there. Being careful not, not, not to damage any of the roots at all. Okay. And then as usual, all I will do is give that a good bit of watering. Good bit of watering, label it. And that's going to be the first one of the five squash that I've got here. But again, let's do the next one. Slowly, gently, just take that as much as you can. Oh wow, that's got some fantastic root. Okay, so what we need to do is have less soil from there. What I've done is, I fill that up, I don't know if you can tell on the camera, halfway. Okay, so that's only halfway. The reason is, when I pick up this one, let's bring up as much as we possibly can, and that is effectively the whole, uh, from here, it's a whole section just picked up, grabbed, and dropped it in here. That way, the roots aren't even being disturbed. So, I won't carry on doing the other five, on, uh, on camera, that's exactly what I'm going to do for all five of them. 